Who said that? Who said that? Stand up and say it again. Have a form of godliness and denying the power thereof. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands to the Lord. We respect persons. Amen. We coming through with something in a minute. Amen. We going to find out why we worship as we do. And we going to find out what is wrong in the body today. Amen. Lately, my spirit has been grieved about what I see in the house of God. And not just here, but everywhere I go. Amen. The Bible says God's people perish for the lack of knowledge. Somebody say amen. amen. The New Testament insists that love must be the distinguishing feature of church life. Amen. It's got to be. If we don't have the love of God about it, if we don't have the love of God dwelling on the inside, if we don't have love one for the other, you can hang it up. It ain't no church life. Amen. Amen. When we love our brothers and sisters, and I mean love them. Amen. Because it takes the power of God to love somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We might not like a person's ways, but what about your ways? Amen. We look at somebody funny. I don't like them. I don't like the way they act. But what about the way you act? And the truth be told, you don't even like yourself. Because you get sick of yourself. I guarantee that if you look in the mirror at your own self, there is something about you that you do not like. I tell the truth. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Every time you're going to find something wrong with you. My God, help us today. Help us today. When we love our brothers and love our sisters in Christ, it's, it's a mark of obedience to the Lord. And not only that, it is the appropriate response to the way that the Lord already Loves us. Amen. You cannot beat the Lord loving us. Amen. Never did, never can, never will. Amen. You may think it was the nails that held Jesus on the cross. But I come to tell you today, church, it was the love. Oh, help us, help us, help us, help us. It was the love. Amen. Because he could have, but he would not come down. Amen. Praise our God. John 15 and 12 says, This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. When you hear the word commandment, what does it make you think about? Anybody in here been in the military? I know these bishops have. You've been in the military? Did you go? You didn't? You didn't? Yeah, I know you did. I know you did. I can see the military order. Amen. Oh, amen. <laughs> Nobody had to tell me. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. It's not bad. It's good. I can tell that Bishop Hamlet has been in the military. I used to sit and watch how he operate. Amen. Uh-huh. I can tell. Amen. That he's been in the military because he knows order. And because he knows protocol. Amen. And there were times when our late Bishop Reed, praise the Lord, we would be uh, waiting for him to give us the theme and we didn't get it right then and there. And I go to Bishop Hamlet and I say, I need the theme. I got to have it. I got to have it. He said, Bishop, Ham he said, Bishop Reed has not given it. Pastor Farmer, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. He never ran over him. And I admired him for that. I think I even told his wife that, didn't I? Amen. Amen. I watch as well as pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to come through here with something in a minute. Amen. In the Who else has been in the military in here? Raise your hand. Who? 
That light is hurting my, okay, good. Who else has been in the military? Okay, you have. You've been in the military, um, pastor? Okay, deacon, amen. Now, I know. How would you been in the military, Alabama? Yeah, see there, I can tell. There is a certain style. Uh-huh. There is a certain demeanor, amen, about people who have been in the military. They know how to receive orders sometimes. Amen. Praise God. They know how to take orders. They know how to follow commands. So Jesus said, this is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Amen. What is a commandment? A commandment is a direct order. And you don't have any questions about it. You just follow through. You just do. Amen. What you've been instructed to do. I've never been in the military. I tried to get in there, but I was so dumb they told me to go home. <laughs> That's the truth. I went and took the test, and when they got to those diagrams, I was putting nuts and bolts everywhere. Screws this place, that place, won't nothing fit. And they told me, get back on the bus and go home. That's the truth, honey. I was out of high school. They said, nah, we can't use you. And I'm so glad that that didn't happen. Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. We do some things in ignorance. Amen. But God is always on our side blessing us. All right. Amen. But I'm told in the military, you, 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 you don't talk back to, hello? What is it, the CO? Y'all help me, the commanding officers? You, 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 you don't talk back to your commanding officers. You don't change ordinances, whatever you're told to do, you do, don't you? Nobody told you to write the book, did they? What make you think you can change something in God's house? Who told you to write another Bible? Amen. You haven't even read the book that you got and you want a new Bible. Help us, Lord. I'm talking about the love of God. When we love the Lord, we love his precepts. Amen. We love his word. Amen. We love spending time with God. Many of us don't do. Amen. We need to learn how to consecrate ourselves unto the Lord. We need to learn how to be in silence sometime. Turn the one-eyed monster off. Stop looking at Popeye. Oh, girl, you, you, you behind the time. Ain't nobody looking at Popeye to sell a man, nobody but me. Amen. Amen. I, I don't like that stuff that's on TV, so I went and looked at Popeye to sell a man, and they laughed at me. Amen. Praise the Lord. 1 John 3 and 11. Say, for this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. You heard that from the beginning. What beginning? Let me, can I say something? Can I say something? Sister Tucker, get a lot of praise for me, please, honey. Just get a lot of praise. They don't want me to. Yes, they don't want me to say nothing. Hallelujah. Come on, get with her. Let's get with her. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, yeah, yeah. hey, hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This is the message that you heard from the beginning. What beginning? You know something. When I first came in church, and the great apostolic church, and the saints of God were praising God, it scared me, honey. It scared me. People got no fear of God now. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
We come in the house of God like we big shots, like we the grand pooba. We're in the presence of God. Yeah. And we don't even humble ourselves in his presence. Oh, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In his presence is fullness of joy. We come in and our hearts are not right. We ought to come in expecting to receive. We ought to come in saying, fix me, Lord. Clean me up. You know what I need. We ought to come in confessing our fault, confessing our sin, saying, God, fix me. Thank you, Jesus. What day was it that we had Elder Dow's funeral? Home going. What was it? Was it on a Monday? It was on a Monday. And uh, I believe Bishop Farmer might have gone in the hospital that Thursday of the same week. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's been in the hospital ever since the 26th of July. The last time he had any food going in his mouth or any water was July the 25th. Amen. Unless they did something today so he could swallow, he has not had food in his system. Amen. Praise the Lord. You think I'm not going to praise my God? Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Ah, oh, we ought to give the Lord a praise. We talking about we love somebody. Lord, have mercy. When God get through with us, we're going to show enough love. Amen. We're going to love our enemies too. Amen. I picked up a book. You know about Baxter, don't you? A book that was written 350 years ago. And I picked up that book. And it's a real thick book. I think I read the first five pages. And I closed the book. I couldn't stand it. I had an alt against somebody. I called that person up. Amen. And straightened that mess out. Amen. Hallelujah. I refuse to stand up, Bishop Boone, and preach to somebody else and be a castaway. I refuse to tell you how to live and I myself drop in hell. Uh, it's time to take an inventory. When we love the Lord, we're going to love self. Thank you, Jesus. We're not going to love the things of this life, the things of this world, Jesus. We ain't going to hold on to them. Amen. Talking about some kind of I love the Lord. No, you don't. If you love the Lord, you wouldn't let the devil use you. You don't like me now, do you? But it's true. It is so. Time out for somebody coming, writing a little book. Uh-huh, opening a book, reading for you with your lazy self. I ain't talking about y'all some smart people. But if the shoe fits your foot, wear it. Ain't nobody giving you no book and going to stand up here and read to you. You in the first grade? Huh? Some of y'all walking around with all sorts of these degrees. You're so smart, you're walking sideways. I wish I knew what some of y'all knew. Amen. But the little bit I do know keeps me out of hell. Amen. And it keeps me serving the Lord. First John 4 and 11 said, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. If God loved us, we ought to love one another. Talking about we serving God. Oh, help me, Lord. I had somebody to tell me something the other day, a young person. And uh, I told them to repent. Open your mouth and repent before God. And they didn't want to do it. The rest of them did. This one person wouldn't do it. And after a while, they screamed at me. And I was laying hands on them. God said, take your hands off of them. He said, don't you speak no blessing on them. And I lifted my hands off of them and walked away and left them standing in the floor looking simple. Prayed for the other ones and went on back. They still standing there looking at me like I'm crazy. 
I ain't speaking no blessings on no demon. That's, right. Amen. That's what's wrong in the house of God now. Mm-hmm. We go get the oil. Mm-hmm. People come to the altar. Mm-hmm. We douse them devils and anointing devils with oil. Mm-hmm. And they go out with the presence of God on them. Mm-hmm. Thinking they can do what you do. Satan cannot cast out Satan. Mm-hmm. My God. If you love the Lord... You will love God's people. You will love them enough to tell them the truth. Huh? What is truth? God said his word is truth. My God, my God. It's time out for being shelly back saints. Amen. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Amen. Amen. Because this is the only opportunity we're going to hear it on this side. Ain't no love in hell. What you want to go there for? You can't stand nobody on this side, but you want your soul to go to hell to be tormented. I done been through enough on this side of the river. Oh God. Oh God. Hallelujah. First John 4 and 21. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. It is impossible for you to say that you love a God you ain't never seen and hate your brother. Look at somebody and say, stop lying. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. In any Christian congregation.